did see a variety of guacamole, so after spending a week in Antigua, we decided to take a shuttle bus for a couple of hours to Lake Atitan. When planning a trip to Lake Atitlan, there's a number of different places that you can stay at. We chose Panishal. Um, it's quite a touristy part of Lake Atitlan, but we chose to stay there because you can get a number of different foods there. It's quite touristy um, and there's great transport links from Antigua and from Guatemala City. There's also quite a, ve there's a very big um, expat yeah. community there too as they well. They call it Pana. They call it Pana, yeah. <laughs> so um, it was a great place to stay at. And we and even hired our Airbnb from an expat. We he, did. Nat, Matt. They got Matt. He's from Shropshire, him and Shropshire his lovely family. <laughs> and um, they moved, or he moved there 15 years ago. Yeah, we hired our, our really comfortable house from him in Panachelle. And that just shows you that, you know, there are a lot of expats there. Yeah. Um, there are other villages though that you can stay at. There's also San Pedro, um, which is a great place to go if you want to hike San Pedro Volcano. Um, it's quite um, steep and hilly. Uh, it reminds me a bit of San Francisco. Um, there's also San Marcos, which has a cool nature reserve. You've got Santiago, which has a nice market, I think on Fridays or Sundays. And um, Jabalito, which a lot of people go to mainly to swim in the Infinity Pool, which is connected to a bar. Um, but as it was low season, we didn't get to do that. But we still had a great time on the lake. Just going to be walking up the stairs to the master bedroom because it's time for the human's bed test. So let's see if everyone's in position, everyone's ready to go. And I'm going to count you in. Three, two, one. Boom. How was that, guys? Very comfortable. Good, good. Good. Thumbs up. Woohoo! Liliana's currently learning how to ride a bike on this nice, big, straight road in Guatemala. Check it out. Come on, Emiliana, you can do it. Whoa. Whoa, nearly. Good effort, though, good effort. Mummy will now demonstrate how to ride a, a, bit, a kid's bike. It's going to be fun. I'm not sure them tires are going to be able to handle it. Here she goes. It's like the Benny, cue Benny Hill music. <laughs> you can, yeah. Yes. You can do it. Come on, Emiliana. Team Emiliana. You've got this. That's you. Whoa. Whoa! Well done! Excellent! High five. Amazing! Look Good job, you. honey! High five me! Boom! Oh, that was hard! That's how it's done! Yes! Learning to ride a bike in Guatemala, baby! Okay. So this is the bridge that we have to cross to walk from where we live in Panachel to the main town. I wouldn't say it's the safest thing ever. I mean, there's literally a big gaping hole through the middle. Um, and as really responsible parents, we always walk across. But the best thing is when you see a motorbike with a family of six going across this bridge. Fresa naranja jugos. Fresh orange juice at Lake Atitlan. Main street in Panachel is called Calle Santander. Um, I know it's a funny name. There is actually a Santander on that street. <laughs> I don't think that was the main street back in the day, but it is now. And it's the, it's the street that you want to go to for um, shopping, for souvenirs, um, loads of restaurants. Um, and at the top end, the other end of the lake, uh, you can also find loads of street uh, food, which is where we hung out a lot of the time. And there was this one chicken shack that Ben loved. Oh. Uh, and we found her once and then like never again. Yeah, it was but, like probably open maybe two or three times a week. And yeah. 
you know, we kind of had it once and then she wasn't there the other two or three days. So I was so gutted. It was so good. Yeah, but we love the street food. We always find yeah. that, that, that that is the most tasty. Liana, what are you ordering for dinner? Pizza. Well done. Con hueso. With a bit of cheese, right? In Lake Atitlan on Calais Santander, which is the main street. And at this end, there's all the kind of food trucks. With all the local, where all the local people eat, including the flip flop family. We are, we like to be amongst the locals. Loads of different food options. Talk about a narrow street in a tuk tuk, guys. Narrow street, guys. Narrow. <laughs> the narrowest street. We made it, we're safe. We're safe, we're through. Any of the villages it's really easy all you have to do is just walk down to the lake there is a main pier which will cost you about 25 pisales to go uh, one way to any of the islands and which isn't bad at all but we found if you go to the other piers that don't look as polished you can kind of try it like just give them 20 cues or maybe even 15 cues i want to try 10 but then wouldn't let me i think that's just for the locals but really and truly the more touristy you look the more likely you are to pay 25 cues if you kind of been there a few times you can get away with a bit less but either way it's really easy to just get a boat uh, you have to wait till the boat is full up before they'll leave and they'll take you to any of the different villages that you want to go to the boats are very bumpy though so a bit of advice if you do get onto a little water taxi try and go like to the middle part of it or like right at the back because if you sit right in the front that's where the boat just goes up and down and that's where if you've got any kind of motion sickness it's going to come through then um, or even if you don't you'll develop it yeah <laughs> like i didn't ever have it before and now coming to you know Guatemala, suddenly i've got motion sickness so um yeah advice sit in the middle or right in the back of the water taxi um somehow zach fell asleep in it though i don't I know how he just fell asleep i don't know, I don't know. Uh, he's a special child though like father like son